morning, I am Dr. Janardhan Rao. Uh, already we are discussing about the operating system, file, uh, file operations and all. Uh, today, I am going to discuss about what is the file access methods and uh, how file is created. Uh, already we discussed what are the operations, file operations. Today, we will go a little bit extension of the what are the access methods and how file is created and all the things you will see. So, file creation already we discussed in the previous class and uh, um, Whenever uh, we want to save any file, simply um, whatever program you write or any document you want to write, uh, so you know, simply the user will uh, uh, click on save, save button. So then once the save button is uh, clicked on, so automatically it will ask the file name. So it will ask some xyz dot c something. So here, so one thing we should know, so xyz is a file name. So, the operating system, what it does, it will convert this XYZ alpha, all the characters into, a, uh, into ASCII code and unique number. That is, number is nothing but a file number. This file number is saved in the, as the file is saved in the C drive somewhere, C drive, C drive somewhere here. And so, at the same time, in the hard disk itself, so there will be file blocks. In the file blocks and this whatever number is coming some some 71 like this the 71 is saved here and actually where the physically the data is saved in the hard disk that is a starting address that also saved in this one so what i want to say whenever you want to save any file that file will be converted to unique number by some of the program in the OS, and it will be saved in the file blocks file blocks and uh, in the file blocks the number is the file number is saved Along with this uh, file number, uh, that uh, actually the where the physical address is saved in the hard disk, that is also saved. That is in the file block. So once it is uh, it is done automatically in the screen, you will get xyz dot c in the icon. Icon. The file is saved. The file is saved. Once the file is saved, uh, it means created. File is created. The file. It's what is meaning is file is created. It means uh, the OS will take care of all these things. The simply the user will uh, send the button, um, press the button, save, and uh, rest of the things will take care of by the other OS. So OS will uh, ask the name of that file program or file, and it will convert into unique number. And that unique number, uh, that file is uh, uh, physically saved in the hard disk, as uh, any either C drive or read drive, wherever it is uh, uh, possible uh, space is there, and then. Uh, where the physical, physically the uh, program is saved, that starting address, that also saved here. And everything is saved about that file, when it is created and all these things will be saved in the file blocks. That one thing, uh, that we will cover the uh, Unix or uh, Linux at uh, that time. Actually, this is the same process in the Windows also here. So, after some time, the user want to see or uh, open this file. So, simply we will take the cursor and press it. So once he is pressing on this uh, file, automatically mm, same algorithm uh, that uh, algorithm or uh, program in the OS that is algorithm I or name I. That what it does it uh, again it will convert this file name into unique unique code or unique number. That is uh, mm, some number will come. It will convert into ASCII code and it will add this ASCII codes. You know, it, it will get a hexadecimal number something. So it will search this number in the file blocks because there will be number of file blocks number of file blocks is the number of files saved there so now it will searching uh, it will do search search operation where that number is falling once the number is found automatically the address physical address also along with this file block so now it goes to that physical address and get that data on the screen that's what file opening file reading file creation this is a simple concept we will discuss uh, in the uh, at the time of unix or uh, linux so this is a very simple concept you have to understand so how the file is created and how the file is searched our file is save file regarding the file some operation some something is saved in the file blocks also when the file is created or saved in the hard disk so this is uh, um, what the operations will see some common operations are as follows, the operations are how file is created and how file is opened. 
these things you can see in the coming uh, in today's session and uh, apart from this how the file is uh, regarding the file how um, some information is required when it is created how it is created the file that is we'll see the file directory also we'll see good so we already seen file creation just now explained file op open operation so whenever the user want to open the top uh, file or want to see the file admittedly will uh, uh, press that uh, file icon on the screen so automatically rest of the things will take care of the OS only so again it will take create one unique number and search in the file blocks once the file block if the number is found and automatically there will be uh, address also along with that uh, file in the file block itself so now it goes to the uh, that address and get the starting address and get the data line by line till the file is over and that is called file opening and file reading so we see so file write operation I already told so file operation they will write this data in the hard disk line by line that is the write operation read operation read operation nothing but uh, once you want to see that file or you want to open the file so automatically OS will uh, take care of it and it will convert that file name into a number and that number will be searched in these file blocks and once the file block is found and get the go to the address and get the data from there that is read operation so so already we discussed these things so now what are the file types file types so generally we are normally will see uh, whenever you are uh, typing anywhere anything in the windows uh, words word uh, resumer or all this thing that is nothing but uh, doc that is doc word doc okay so there are a large number of file types each has a particular purpose the type of the file indicates its uh, use use case contents etc some common types are media files that is media files mp3 mp4 media files are more uh, media files store media data such as images audio icons videos uh, common exceptions like this uh, some like this xyz file name and mp3 mp3 this is a file name extension extension this file name so what is type of the file that is name the programs uh, these files store code that is uh, what we write the program the java uh, java and uh, c and uh, c plus plus so the extension will be different so fi uh, these files store code ma make mark of commands scripts and usually executable commands common extensions like uh, c dot c dot cpp dot java uh, dot xml dot html dot css j dot js just js py python sql etc so these are the extension of the files so so now operating system level so these files are present with the os uh, for its internal uh, use common extensions been these are the uh, program files so what are the programs uh, what are the programs in the os so uh, as we discussed in the beginning the os is full of programs what programs is the uh, that after compilation we will add this prog that program to os the with extension bin dot sh dot bat dot dll dot etc etc and all these things are the uh, file names extensions for the operating system file their program files so next document these files are used for managing fi uh, office programs such as documents spreadsheets common extensions excel document doc dot doc dot docx dot pdf dot ppt these are the files types we are discussing it document types miscellaneous gen generic uh, generic text files dot txt dot uh, uh, that kind of files prop uh, proprietary files etc there are different types of files uh, types of files are there these are the things we are discussing so that you see this uh, table the executable executable file means that is com uh, after compilation what are program is uh, what are the file is there visible um, that actions will be dot txt so ready to run machine language programs this as we discussed in the previous classes once the program is written by anyone it may be it looking in english uh, in a in b in c c is good a plus b like this is looking like in general english once it is compiled it will be converted into zeros and ones this is called dot exe file zeros and ones each line is converted into zeros and ones this is called but well, this file is 
is automatically converted into dot txt file. So that is uh, mm, the xyz dot xyz dot c once it's compiled xyz dot xyz dot is e exe that is x google profile. So that's what we have to understand that uh, that is uh, extension of the files. So object files dot obj and uh, uh, that is compiled and the machine language is uh, not linked. Okay, this is uh, .obj files, uh, source code uh, of many source code, uh, any Java program, C program, or any program is there. After compilation, you will get uh, .c, .cc, .java, .parel, .asm, asm language. So, source code in various languages and uh, batch files you have seen. Um, the textures will be dot bat dot sh commands to command commands to the command interpreter that is uh, we'll use uh, sh so next one is a uh, markup so for making the web pages uh, we write a program when you save it the, we have to give extension dot xml dot html dot text text uh, textual data documents so another one um, word processor files in the word processor files we will give extension dot xml dot rtf and dot x uh, various word processor formats and library functions so library functions uh, when you um, save in the we write a program and save in the os so automatically library some library programs are there so we will give extension to this program dot lib, dot uh, dll dot a dot lib so libraries of uh, routines for uh, program programmers so this is library function, library programs, library actions. So point of view, PDF dot, dot, dot JPG is ASCII or binary file on a format for printing or viewing. So next to archives, so we go for the rare file and uh, zip files. So that is uh, archives related to file grouped into one file, something sometimes uh, compressed for archiving or stories. This is the extension will give certain files for the storing. Next multimedia files already you have seen any video file or audio file uh, or, uh, like this uh, com uh, and combined binary file containing audio or AV, audio video information. So that is uh, an extensions will give for the different files. So that is extensions. So Already we have seen what is the file concept and all, what um, what types of files are there and we will see the file structure. The file structure should be according to a required format that the operating system can understand because we want to save some file in the hard disk but uh, what is doing being done that uh, totally we the monitoring OS, OS should understand and only can monitor. If it doesn't understand, it will, it will, it will simply will get the message not identified, not recognized. So like this, a file has a certain defined structure according to the type. A text file is a sequence of characters organized into lines. A source file is, is a sequence of procedures and functions. An object file is a sequence of bytes organized into blocks that are uh, understandable by the machine. So when operating system defines different file structures, it also contains the code to support these file structures. Unix MS does support minimum number of file structures. So so because uh, basically um, OS is the master or OS is the uh, supervisor in the system. What is going on uh, well, when you say, want to save anything, when you do any anything in the system that OS would understand then only it can monitor, it can accept. So that is called, if it is a DXE file, then it will be which we should support, the OS should support certain that files, otherwise it cannot save in the hard disk. So, so once the file is saved in the hard disk, this is a file, this is our hard disk and uh, this is C drive, D drive, E drive. So this is, uh, so you write a program and you will save somewhere in the D drive. So automatically I, I explained in the previous, uh, previous slide. So there will be file block in the hard disk at the end of the um, memory. So in this file blocks, so whenever one file is saved regarding this one, it is saved in this file block. 
so that's what so once you saved saved it here one you want to retrieve that file once it is saved here automatically you will get the uh, screen screen icon that file name will get it on the screen so this is some x and you will get x on the screen so you want to open this file and we will go to we will bring the cursor and double click then then that is called uh, how to access the original data i mean where the file is saved here and you have to get this data from there there so this is nothing but access method file access is a process process that determines the way that files are accessed and read into memory generally a single access method is always supported by the operating system there are some operating system which also supports multiple access methods so this is a procedure once the file is saved in the hard disk where it is saved regarding this one uh, your information is saved in the file blocks so that's i already um, explained in the previous slide how where this file is saved how this file is converted into a number and where this file once the file is saved in the hard disk and regarding this uh, uh, location and name everything will be available in the file blocks that is nothing but where data structures you will see uh, indexing so indexing will be done in the file blocks and uh, the with the unique uh, number as i explained once the file is uh, we want to save that uh, whatever name you give that uh, each character is converted into ascii code and ascii codes will be combined with some processor and you will get a unique uh, number that is hexadecimal that number is saved in the file blocks and along the file uh, the number you will find the where actually physically the data is saved in the hard disk that uh, address also saved there and uh, rest of the uh, some information when it is the, the date time everything also saved in the file blocks so so once the file is saved you will get all this information in the file blocks you want to open that file automatically again the name i algorithm name i will come into action and convert this uh, file name into a unique number and that number will be searched in the file blocks once the file blocks that number is found in the file blocks and automatically then address is along with the file number so automatically go to that address and get the data from there this is nothing but reading writing and reading the files in the hard disk so how access how to access the file in the from the hard disk that that is called access methods there is one of the one of the methods are sequential access direct random access indexed sequential access these are the three accessing file accessing methods so we will see one by one what is sequential access and direct and random access indexed access so see this is our hard disk just it seems like this and uh, each this is a just you see this in this one sectors there will be um, this is our sectors and tracks will be there and uh, six sequ sequential access means it will search uh, the number sequentially one by one in this one so this is our sequential access so this access method sequential access you see most of the operating system access the file sequentially in other words most of uh, the files need to be accessed sequentially by by the operating system so sequential access uh, the voice read the file word by word a pointer is maintained which initially points to the base address of the file so if the user wants to read first word of the file then pointer provides the word to the user and increase its value by 1 so next line this is our file this is our file and the pointer is noted in the first line then next line next line next line that like this this is sequentially access the file line by line or word by word this is called uh, sequential access so the process continues uh, till the end of the file because this file is saved here so already we know the first address first line of the address and next line next line next line So like this, it will continue till the end of the file. So that is no, no, that's what uh, if the user wants read the first word is uh, of the file, then the pointer provides the word to the word to the user and increase the value by one word by word. This process continues till the end of the file. Modern word systems, modern word systems do provide the concept of direct access and uh, indexed access, but the most used method is the sequential access. Uh, due to the fact that most of the uh, files such as uh, such as uh, text files audio files video files etc need to be sequentially accessed because once you want to see any movie or you want to see any uh, diagram or you want to see any um, uh, 
uh, any um, diagram saved in the hard disk. So this is some diagram is saved uh, saved in the line by line that uh, converted into digital circle saved in the line by line. So you have to see, read sequentially only. So if you read the in, in between that um, we cannot get the diagram. So so you, um, they have to read from the uh, beginning to end of the file. So then only you will get the complete diagram. Otherwise you don't get the complete diagram. This is um, this is what is the benefit of the sequential access of the file. Next we see direct access. Uh, direct access means uh, whichever word, whichever line you want to read from the file. So we can set the read head, read head uh, directly to that position. That is called direct access or random access. So the direct access is mostly required in the case of data systems because the data is saved from line by line by line, um, uh, tuple by tuple, record by record. So you want particular record means uh, it may be in between, in between of the database. So we want to go for you um, directly, we want to access that line. So that is called direct access is mostly required in the case of database systems. In most of uh, the cases, we need uh, filtered information from the database. The sequential access cannot, can be very slow and inefficient in such cases because uh, if you want to go line by line SQL, by using SQL uh, access, so it takes a lot of time to reach our record, record record. But as, whereas direct access uh, is our, uh, it takes uh, no fraction of, fraction of time, it will uh, go to that location and get the data from there. This is called direct access. Suppose every block of the storage shows four records and uh, we know that uh, record we need is stored in 10th block. In that case, the sequential access will not be implemented because it will traverse all the blocks one by one uh, to the access the record, uh, required record. So by the time if it is 100 or uh, 200, it will go one by one and it takes a lot of time. So the, in that cases, we will use uh, direct access. In the direct access, it will go the required result of despite of the fact the operating system has to perform some complex tasks such as uh, Determining the desired block number, however, this is uh, generally implemented in database applications because we have seen the uh, serial access, serial access we use in the um, text files or uh, diagrams, uh, diagrams and all um, MP3. So, whereas in this uh, direct access, uh, we cannot go uh, one by line because um, we want certain uh, record that record is uh, position is uh, from the base, it may be a uh, thousand position. So, if you want to read the line by line by using sequence, sequential access, it takes a lot of time. So we don't use that in such cases and in databases operations, we go for the direct access method. So this is the direct access method. In the database, we use the direct access method. So next, uh, indexed access. Uh, if a file can be stored on any of the file, file then the index can be assigned to a group of certain records. A particular record can be accessed by its index. The index is nothing but the address of a record in the file because as I explained, so there will be, this is your hard disk and uh, on the hard disk, this is C drive, D drive, E drive and all this. So our file is saved somewhere in the E drive, E drive. So there will be some index is maintained. By looking at the index, we'll go to that file. This is called index access. If a file can be stored on any of the field, um, any of the drive, you can say then the index can be assigned to a group of certain records. A particular record can be accessed by its index. The index is nothing but the address of record in the file. Address in the okay. So in index uh, accessing, such is a large database. Uh, searching a, in a large database scheme is very, uh, very quick and easy, but we need to have some extra space in the memory to store the index value because uh, this is a index access method is very good, but uh, it, requ it requires uh, extra memory. This is extra memory. So apart from the normal and we have to uh, allot more, some more memory for the indexing access method. So we will see uh, the directory structure. And you will see the data say what is directory? Directory in the sense, directory can be defined uh, as a list of uh, list of the listing of the uh, related files in this disk. Suppose um, we know that uh, um, folder four is nothing but a directory. So in this, uh, we'll give you the folder and we keep some files in the folder. So this is nothing but directory because uh, all relevant uh, files are uh, kept in one folder. The folder is nothing but a directory. 
So this is directory can be used defined as a listing of related files on a disk. The directory may uh, may store uh, our uh, entire file attributes. So this is a directory. This is nothing but Windows CC the file folder. In this folder, we save uh, keep on saving the relevant uh, um, files. That's uh, and we, it will maintain that in the out. You will see the directory structure also. So how the files are saved in this directory directory that we'll see. So to get the benefits of the different file systems on the different operating system, hard disk can be divided into number of partitions of different size, different size. The partitions are called volume or volume or mini disk. So that's what we drives you can say. So each partition must have a, at least one directory in which all the files of the storage so partition can be listed. So that's what we'll see the C drive, D drive. What are the files? Uh, what are the files have available in the C drive? And we can see in that in that particular directory. Directory is next to the end of the drive, the hard disk. So, so for regarding the files also um, files, um, the, we have to maintain some record. That is nothing. Record is uh, not, nothing but directory. So each partition must have at least one directory in which all the files of that part the partition can be listed. So as we know, this is our uh, hard disk c drive d drive so this is c drive this is d drive end of this c drive it will maintain the directory in this directory what are the files available in this drive and uh, that will maintain this maintain this directory structure directory so this what uh, we'll uh, um, look into this and each partition must have at least one directory in which all the files of that part, um, partition partition nothing but a directory no so we will find all the files in that directory or in that partition. So, so that each part, uh, so a directory entry, directory entry is maintained for each file in the directory which stores all the information related to the file. So as we have seen, the, the in the directory, uh, directory will have the files that for uh, files in that part, um, partition. That is nothing but directory in the directory. We will maintain the complete information about the files. One of the file entry is made. When of the file is saved in that D, uh, C drive or D drive. So that is nothing but file blocks. So like this. Direct, this is a direct restriction. So this is a directory. This is this is a directory. Uh, part, uh, partition 1. In this partition 1. So what are the files available in this hard disk. And this is maintained in the directory. So this is nothing but the file one attribute. What is it? Uh, when it is created? Um, what is name? What is address? And everything is maintained here. We already we discussed this concept in the beginning of these slides. So, so this is nothing but uh, how the files um, files are indexed and how how to access the files without uh, much trouble or much problem. So this is all direct structure. So we'll discuss this uh, concept to continue in the next class. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.